Today we will be learning how to operate the ABB switch gear from Slater Substation. But first, let's go over the safety precautions prior to operating the equipment. Make sure to have all the appropriate personal protective equipment before operating any equipment along with your PC-17A order to operate instructions. Confirm gas pressure is sufficient in order to operate the breaker. In order to operate the breaker, switch the controls from remote to local. From the breaker control panel, switch the handle from close to trip. The breaker position indicator light will switch from green to red. Verify if the breaker is open through the sight glass. Open the access door in order to operate the breaker. Take the operating handle, apply pressure, and rotate it counterclockwise until it comes to a positive stop. This means the breaker is in the test position. To disconnect the breaker from the bus, apply pressure, rotate it counterclockwise until it comes to a positive stop. The breaker position indicator light will turn red once it's disconnected from the bus. Close the access door once done operating. Verify the switch position through the sight glass. Open the access door in order to operate the breaker. Take the operating handle, apply pressure, and rotate it clockwise until it comes to a positive stop. This means the breaker is in the test position, and the breaker position indicator light will indicate red. To connect the breaker to the bus, apply pressure, rotate it clockwise until it comes to a positive stop. The breaker position indicator light will turn off once it's disconnected from the bus. Close the access door once done operating. Verify the switch position through the sight glass. Once the operation is completed, switch the control back to close. The breaker light switch will change from red to green, indicating the breaker is now closed. Verify that the switch is now closed through the sight glass. Once the operation is completed, switch the controls back to remote. If there are any further questions regarding how to operate the equipment, contact System Office or your immediate supervisor.